everyone. Silver and I just watched Mob Psycho 100, episode 11, and it was definitely one of the more funnier episodes that I've seen in a while. What did you think about it? I, I thought it was really good. I thought it answered a lot of questions. The end where it made it seem kind of like uh, like Reagan was going to be the leader, we suspected that that was misdirection, but, it, but given how weird the sort of ending was, we thought maybe he is somehow... Very good to see that it wasn't some sort of weird trick, that he really wasn't, and he was just tricking the underlings. But it was um, a good trick for the audience, because we thought, yeah. like, oh my god, is he actually the boss? And then it turns out, oh no, Reg- Reagan's just being awesome. He's just doing... Yeah, he's just tricking all does. of them, because he's charismatic and a con man. Um but I also thought that, toward, obviously, towards the end of the episode, the action picked up, I and mean, it was very well animated, very well drawn. I was wondering whether you liked it, because I know that you didn't like some aspects of that style. I forget what it's called, but the the, the kind of like, you know, the, the squares thing and the thing that, that one punch oh, man Oh, actually, had. I like that style. You're the one that doesn't like the squared... No, I, I barely, I don't notice it when it happens a lot of the time. Like, or rather, I notice it, but it I, I it doesn't bother me. I thought it bothered you. Okay, maybe it doesn't bother any of us. <laughs> no, no. Um, no, what you're talking about, like the fighting with how everything breaks up into yeah. little blocks. I recognize that that is one of the key animators that was in One Punch Man. And I don't mind that Yeah, I don't it's been copied by style. almost everybody. It's more like a, of an abstract thing. Like that's not, you know, how rocks and, and things would break up like yeah. that. It's a yeah. very stylistic choice. But uh, I just wanted to say, like, you know, going back to just the beginning of the episode, I really like how they start with a shot of the t- these two little, I think, grasshoppers where the, the baby yeah, one's one on is the on back. top, the big one. And yeah. I'm like, oh, this is we're going to have symbolism. A cute, we're going to have a cute little scene between them. It's like brothers, you know, which is what yeah. happened. And then I just love how when Mob like sees his brother, he immediately hugs him. He immediately does what Mob is just so amazing for like you know just being glad that he's okay and i just i love seeing v2 being so emotional by it and just being like god damn it mob you won't let me like apologize to you you know yeah well mob is like mr unconditional love yeah and we also see a really interesting like like reagan's a very interesting character too i don't know if we want to go there quite yet but one of the things that I was just thinking was that he shows up and he immediately is reforming all of these henchmen. He's telling yes. them, like, why are you doing these things? These are terrible things. He's like, well, we were told to. And he's like, well, that's no, that's no excuse. You know, you can't just, t- you can't just abdicate responsibility by, t- by saying that other people told you to do it. What about you? And then other people are like, oh, well, but we're trying to advance. And he's like, it doesn't matter if you get to the top by living with a bad yeah. life you'll just see all the you know garbage that you left behind or whatever he says yeah and you'll talks, see everything that you laid waste all to the, all the and filth not, yeah, is yeah. What he says. And you're not gonna feel and, good about yourself yeah he says the only way to get to the top is like the way is to do it the right way so you can feel good about yourself and, and i like that, that by doing that to the uh underlings and letting them escape you know later yeah. i feel like those people are going to band around them if they ever need like you know lower henchmen fighting the other lower henchmen then those people are gonna like work for them maybe or they'll just run away and just not be evil um, yeah or we might never see them again you know like that's the, another yeah yeah but the, but the interesting thing is that we're we're seeing you know reagan being this sort of, he's caring about everyone, he's teaching people important moral life lessons, and we saw him, he's, he's taught Mob really nice things. There's even that earlier episode where Mob is quoting someone and he's saying all these great things and then dimples yeah. like it's hard to believe that that was Reagan, right? Mm-hmm. And, or he says it's less impactful when you learn it's coming from him. And so it, it, it's it's kind of strange because he he says all these great things, but then he's a con man. He's taking advantage of Mob. Well, that that's then... the classic thing is you see him say all this great stuff to Mob as a kid who's like you know unsure of himself. Well, but and he yet actually he means knows it. he can use him too. Well, so but it's, it's strange because he means it. He's he yeah. is he actually we see in this episode he is a good person. He tries. Yeah. He, but Mob is starting to you know Mob's giving in. He's like I'm going to have murderous intent. I'm going to kill all these people. I don't care what happens to them because they're threatening my family he's giving into that sort of rage and you know reagan reagan stops him and says yeah. you know he can't do it and so his 
he's more concerned with Mob's soul and Mob's moral well-being than his own safety. I mean, we see at the end, it seems that he gets slashed. There was no blood, so I don't know whether they're going to be like, oh, he he dodged it or he yeah. something or someone helped him block it. You know, maybe Ritsu helped him block it or... Um, I'm hoping that he's Teru. not going to die, that this is... I don't think he'll die. Because I know anime does have that classic, like, the master dying at some point. Yeah, but I mean, maybe, but Reagan's I don't think he's going to too funny and entertaining. I don't think he's going to die. He's probably a lot of people's favorite character other than Mob. So yeah. I, I don't think he'll, they'll kill him off. That would be a bad choice. I mean, obviously, if you've been reading the manga, you know what happens. And but, like, be- we're not reading the manga. Even though Reagan is like a good guy and everything, like he still does things that are, you know, conflicting. Where he'll he'll say things like, you know, you shouldn't like use violence, and yet he drop yeah, the kicks, ESP Ishiguro, drop kick, and the hypnosis punch, and even which was amazing. I love. Oh it. no, it was incredible when he did that. But like Taro's like. Wait, drop kicks are okay. He's like, you're not supposed to harm others. He's like, but drop kicks are okay. You kicked the guy in the face. It, was, it looked like he was unconscious for a while. He had a concussion. <laughs> and I thought Ishiguro was going to be out of the episode because when they cut to him on the floor and his, yeah. his like limbs are in weird positions like a cartoon, and I'm like, oh my god, he just like defeated him. Yeah, I was wondering so. if he was like dead or something. Like that would have been kind of <laughs> hilarious if he's just like not in the show anymore and just like Reagan, I'm like, Reagan wrecked damn. him. He really doesn't need psychic powers at all. If he could just like fucking like hit these people like that, you know? Yeah, and I was wondering whether I forget the other guy's name. It starts with an M. The the guy who looks like Sigma and can copy himself. I, I was wondering if if like Reagan had really like wrecked him when he punched him in the face, you know? No, yeah, that's what I, I was wondering. Because he was back and seemed fine. I was wondering if he was going to be, like, take it out, too. If just, like, if, uh, you know, like, Reagan's are really strong, which would be pretty funny. Although, you know, love... he, does, he does massage people all day, so he's got the, that upper body strength. Yeah, that's true. He does have really strong hands and stuff. But there was that scene, too, where I love how Mob just quickly exercises that guy's spirits, and then it turns, like, black and white, and he's like, yeah. huh? He's just like, it's and the they classic. didn't even they didn't even say that's what happened, but as the audience, we know that's what happened. Yeah, and then and that other little shot too. I know we're like going back here, but I really like when that henchman's like whispering to Reagan. Yeah. You yeah, know, he's like, "Why like, are you whispering?" Still, like little why? cute things like that it have made the show. Like I know the style at first, I wasn't really sure if I liked the style of the show or not, but now I really like it because it fits yeah. so well with the comedy that it's just like. You know, I I love watching it. But the one thing I have a question about is when uh, Reagan, he has this realization that all the villains that are there, he has this idea like they are children who never grew up. The answer is simple. And he doesn't say the answer because, you know, he's like getting like he's in the fight and everything. But I do wonder what he meant by the answer. I think his answer is to run away from them. I think so. To just avoid them because he doesn't want to. It made me, in a way, think of of the Doctor from Doctor Who, because yeah. his sort. Because we're at an interesting point. Because he he's definitely in the moral right in the sense that he doesn't want to be forced to have Mob kill someone or or potentially kill someone. Right. He's comfortable taking the responsibility of violence on himself because he's an adult. He doesn't think it's appropriate for right. Mob because he's a child and because he's kind and all this other stuff. He wants to protect Mob because he's naive. Yeah. Naive in the sense of just, you know, young, not naive. Like, even though he is naive in the other sense, I mean, in the, the you know, the young sense, the inexperienced sense. And while he's saying and that, he's Teru, Teru and Ritsu are both yeah. saying, like, the arguments against that. And like, they're being more realistic power. because yeah. at this time, people are trying to kill them. And so. It's the problem that that I mean, as you know, but the the the, the audience doesn't know this. That I hate. I, I watch Doctor Who, but I hate the Doctor as a character because of how stupid he is. It's like Batman. Like you wouldn't act that way if you lived in a universe that was like that. They're imposing our conventional morality from this world onto the fictional worlds, which don't work. So uh, you have to commend Re- Reagan's commitment to his sort of pacifism that allows him to drop kick people and punch people, but. It doesn't make any sense because he might have gotten killed. He probably didn't, but maybe he got severely injured. And so what's Mob going to do? Not defend himself? When people are trying to kill you, you defend yourself. You don't just sit there and be like, I'm morally in the right. I'm now going to let you kill me and then I'm going to be fine in heaven. Like, that's not what you do. That's the other issue, though. 
That's the other issue, though, because now that he's been pers- like he might be dead or he might be like fatally wounded. That's as we've seen the promo. Mob is going to get to that point. He's because he, he's seen that and it yeah. enrages him when people that he loves or cares about get hurt in front of him. Yeah. So and, and we'll see. Does he go to a hundred percent, but he's still under control, or does he go to you know I forgot what it's called, but the question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, so overall, that was a really great episode. Uh, We decided to try to change up the format a little bit. I hope you guys like the difference. This is a more casual discussion that we're doing. So uh, please like the video if you liked what we had to discuss today. Subscribe to hear more anime reviews. And please comment and let us know what are your thoughts about this episode since we're going right into, I believe, the final episode, right? Episode 12? I, th- I think that's the last one. I mean, they said something in the promo about it being the season finale. Yeah, so let us know your thoughts. See you next time.